Hey everybody, I'm joined now by Mr. Dial Kaiser from down here in Florida, who is our newest Black Belt Challenge winner in the heavyweight division. He won the Southeast Regional Championship Black Belt Challenge, and he is going to be our fourth and final seed in the 2018 Pro Series. So Mr. Kaiser, it's all happened kind of fast for you, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, within a few weeks, yeah. A few weeks, so you saw it online, your name was kind of called out, you said, what the heck, let's go there and do this. You just won the Black Belt Challenge a few hours ago, made the decision to go into the Pro Series. Excited? Nervous? How are you feeling? Uh, right now I'm really excited. That's awesome. I'm glad. That's the whole thing we were hoping for is was a little bit of excitement there. So it's going to take place in Connecticut in April. You have about a month to train. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything that goes on in the Pro Series? You break stuff. Okay. So you and me will talk <laughs> a little bit after this. I'll give you a little bit of prep about what to expect. So tell me a little bit about yourself with your martial art background. How long have you been doing it? Styles? Things like that? Okay. I've been training in Taekwondo now for 24 years. Wow. Awesome. Uh, I got my black belt back in 2000. Uh, I've got a school in Palm Bay, Florida, Team Dragon Martial Arts. Uh, and they're every day of the week, you know, we're in the school. That's pretty awesome. Excellent. How long have you been breaking for? Uh, competitively for eight years. That's about. great. That's excellent. Have you ever ventured outside the Florida area for competition? Or will this be the first time? This will be the first time. It's uh, it's always been just the you know, the airfare costs and everything on top of that for it. But right. This one will be a little more special, so I'll find a way to. Well, that's what we're hoping for. It's going to be special. We're going to make a big deal out of it and, and draw people in. It's going to be a big spectator event. So that's awesome. going to be great. So I, I'm going to talk to you a little bit when we're done with this interview about the fact that it, it's a little bit more standardized competition than the Black Belt Challenge. Mm -hmm. There's a creative routine. And then there's a power division that you get to choose and a power division that your, your competitor gets to choose. Okay. So knowing that a little bit, we'll talk more. What, what does training consist of for you? If you're going to get ready for this, what kind of uh, things will you be doing? Regular just Taekwondo training or are you going to do some specific work for breaking? There, besides the regular Taekwondo training, um, you know, I... Uh uh, hit the bag and you know I'd do a couple other you know, lift weights here and there and nice you know nothing uh, spectacular I'm not really sure okay fancy things to do so no that's good <laughs> sometimes the basics work you know old school classic training that's great oh, yeah. so what other things occupy your time and your life besides martial arts besides the school my uh, my brother's in-laws own a mar uh, Chinese restaurant around the corner from our school and uh, I helped deliver Chinese for them on the weekends and help them in the, the restaurant. So That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I, I love Chinese foods. That's cool. Did you ever get sick of it or not really? Not yet. Not yet. I'm the same way. I <laughs> love that. That's great. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're here. Turns out that I actually know these people. Let's go give them some Chinese. You guys having a good day? Yeah. You yes, behaving? Sir. Yes, sir. I don't need to beat you, do I? No. Hey, you. Hey, Miss Joni, you hey, ordered some Chinese, huh? Say hi, oh. everybody. Hi. Oh, my goodness. There Chinese go. food. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, everybody. Hey, Miss Joni. The most awesome lady. Oh. Love this lady. Oh. And she loves our food, love too. too. Oh, my <laughs> God. That food is awesome. Yeah, it is. That's why you, that's why you caught me there. Because yep. it's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. See you guys later. Thanks. Excellent. Anybody at home that's going to be supporting you with this? Any family or anything? Uh, mom, uh, two brothers. My, my sister's over in England right now, but I'm sure she'll be uh, keeping track of it. That's great. And they can follow online with all the social media. Yeah. They can see what's going on and stuff, and that's great. Um, I don't know if you know uh, follow online or not, but do, are you familiar with any of the other heavyweight contenders that you're going up against? No, not. So you have um, David Mayton, who is from Maryland. Okay. You have Daniel Payton, who is from Connecticut. He's one of the East Coast Training Systems students of uh, Master Serrano. Okay. And you also have Clinton Murphy, um, who is a big name out there. I don't know if you're familiar with them or not. So those are the other three you're going up against. And you're going to be randomly paired with one of them to be a battle of just you and that one other person for the semifinals. Okay. So that's how it's going to work. Wow, sounds fun. It's going to be. So we'll talk a little more, we'll get you more details, but thank you for this chat and we look forward to seeing you in Connecticut. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much, sir. Hey everybody, Donald Kaiser here. So after all the working and training and breaking and eventually getting around to hang out and play in Florida, you gotta soap up, you gotta shower. You can't be a good martial artist if you're dirty. So I'm here to help promote Master Grogan's breaking soap. This stuff is amazing. Even after a full day of working and training, and breaking. This stuff does the job. It's got this little pumice in there to help get that nasty stuff off of you. And, boy, man, it smells good. So it's going to help you get the ladies even after you press and breaking all that stuff. 
So after you're done working and training, you gotta shower up. Just don't drop the soap. You might break a toe.